Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. So I did a video about how to get a refund on Oculus Quest games and applications that applied when you directly purchase it from the Oculus store through your mobile phone or through your headset. So how do you do it if you purchase it elsewhere? You gotta choose whichever store that it is that you purchased the application or the game from. So I'll give you the two examples of the main areas where people have purchased games from before. Number one, if you went and downloaded the Oculus app to manage your Oculus Quest 2, this is where you want to go if you purchased it from here. You can also do this from here if you also purchased it from the Quest store on your mobile or through your headset. So where do you go for that? You open up your Oculus app and you go over to settings. Click on account and then click on purchase history. From here, you should have a list of the games that you had purchased. And what you do is you just click on the three dots here in the settings area, click on request refund. When you do this, you want to select the refund reason. It doesn't matter. It could be for any reason. You can literally go ahead and type in other and you can say you don't like the app. That's okay. Now keep in mind, you have to do this within 14 days. A purchase and also you have to have used the app for less than two hours total doesn't matter if someone else logged in or used your quest that still counts against the time another thing is in order for them to verify how long you've used the app for you cannot delete all the logs from your quest when you're doing your quest or your your headset or from your computer because that's how they figure out whether or not you use the device and the app for two hours together. You can type in any of whatever reason you want and you click on continue and the request will get submitted. They'll usually get back to you fairly quickly. Sometimes it takes a couple of days depending on how backlogged they are. And then they will process the refund. The refund could take a little while to get to you. It really depends on your bank. So if they tell you that the refund was given, give it a couple of days, then check with your bank. For some people, certain banks give it a whole week, sometimes up to two weeks. Then contact your bank about it. All right, so that's how you do it through the Oculus app store. Let's say you purchase it from Steam. Now, the example I'm going to show you here is not from a, not a VR game that I purchased on here, but it applies the same way too, and it applies for all Steam games. So when you log into Steam, Go into account details. As you can see it's very similar over here. Click on view purchase history over here. Now you will see a list of all the things that you have purchased in the past. And what you got to do is you click on the game. Let's say, let's say I'm going to, I'm going to refund this game. Click on it over, click on the game and click on, I would like a refund. Basically you choose your quest or VR game or application from there and just click I would like a refund. Now you could just click on I'd like to request a refund and see whether or not you're eligible. Okay. You basically tell them why. And uh, for a VR game, it really can be any reason. The reason why they ask about these is they get the feedback from this and they, they try to figure out if there's something wrong that needs to be fixed. They need to contact the developer about it or if there's some other issue. Usually it won't be a problem. You click the submit, same thing applies and it goes back to the original payment method. That means if you used a credit card, it will go back to your credit card account. If you used a debit card, it will go back to your bank account directly. If you use the gift card to purchase it, it will go back to the gift card. If you did a combination of it, it will do a combination of either the store credit, if you use store credit to purchase, or if it goes back to a combination of store credit and credit or debit, etc. It could be any a number of those combinations. Keep in mind though, that at least for me, Oculus sends me certain uh, promos, just promo credits, just to get you to purchase stuff before if you refund those, you don't get those credits back. Those would expire with the promo. So the promo is only through a certain date and you hurry up and use those credits to purchase something you decided it wasn't worth the money and you wanted a refund with that. You don't get those promo credits back because they were promos. 
So keep that in mind before you refund something. One other way you can get denied for the refund is if you've refunded the game before. So if you bought the game, then decided, well, it wasn't for me. You changed your mind and you want to cancel it because it removed it from your library. You can't. They actually have to refund, process the refund back to you. Then you can purchase it again. If you purchase it again, you can't ask for a refund again. That's it. You've already been refunded once before. So you will not be able to be qualified for another refund again. Now, most of this is an automated process. Sometimes it's not because they want to try to cut down on any fraudulent purchases. So keep that in mind when you do this. Refund it only after you're sure. And also make sure that uh, you really haven't used the app for more than two hours at a time. All right, that's it for this video. If you really just want the quickest, fastest way to do the refund and using Oculus Quest, just go ahead and check out my other video. I'll have a link down below. Thanks for watching.